back in the food forest here to talk cucumbers. Got these cucumbers in, pulled our mulch back, made a bit of a row because the mulch can be a little rough on the tender plants. So we want to keep them off when they're first getting started, let them get bigger and stronger. We're going to trellis them up this fence, which we will support a bit more to hold the weight of all these cucumbers. When you're trellising them up a fence, you can plant them within one foot of each other. Otherwise, I think it's about three feet you want to keep them apart. And then we're going to use some baling twine to make our fence come up to about the four foot level. And we're going to go between our green posts to do that with the baling twine. So this will be all cucumbers along the back. I got a little gardening hack to help keep the deer and pest away. I just got my hair cut. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that around down this line as I take you on and show you some of our progress. See it's a little wet around here for sure out back so it can be tough on these. But it should start drying up pretty quick and the wood, ch wood chips help regulate that moisture level for sure. But a good 120 foot of cucumbers should have way more than we need. And I've just been spreading that hair out as I walk here a little bit from a haircut. Gonna provide some nitrogen to the soil and leave some scent behind, hopefully help keep the deer out. We haven't had any rabbit problems since we've got Tippy and Bubbles on patrol out here. They are very good at the work they do, aren't you, Tippy? Tippy, do you protect our cucumbers, Tippy? Yeah, we got some really good cats for sure. We're gonna keep our garden safe. You can see we've been pulling weeds getting row two and three ready to go in. I've actually started some of that. But we can cover that on another video. I just wanted to update you on our cucumbers along the back. One foot between them. We're putting them down at soil level using the mulch as a true mulch. And uh, also related to cucumbers, the slugs tend to like to munch on them. So we made some slug traps. You can check out our slug trap video. If you want to know how to keep your slugs out of your garden and the big snails, they're working quite well so far. And as we walk down, I can show you we're starting and making a little more progress because we want to keep our tomatoes and our corn separate because they have a pest that's the same. Everything around the corn in the corner will be pumpkin, squash, and then pepper on the outside. And then we'll start our tomatoes. So we won't have any tomatoes in this area that we're working that is around our corn. Because like I said, they share a similar pest. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Definitely making some progress, getting some more plants in the ground. And having a ton of fun, working hard, playing with the cat out in the garden. We'll see you on the next one, guys.